Hell's Kitchen has been very popular over the years because of its loud and outspoken show host, Gordon Ramsay. If there's anything in life Gordon Ramsay doesn't suffer, it's fools and, well, undercooked scallops. Hell's Kitchen remains a popular show, with fans tuning in each season to hear Gordon Ramsay lose it. Ramsay has starred in all seasons of the show, whipping everyone either into shape or into tears. But some seasons are better than others. The series is best known for taking teams of chefs and throwing them into intense kitchen situations. With such a pressure-filled environment, each season is sure to include massive arguments and wondrous celebrations. The top-performing chef earns the chance at heading up to a real Ramsay restaurant, as well as a cash prize. In this video, we will be looking at the top signature dishes from Hell's Kitchen. Let's begin with today's video. Number 8. Salmon Many people enjoy various salmon dishes, and as seen on the hit cooking show Hell's Kitchen, the crispy salmon skin can make a dish look and taste outstanding. And just like the similarities to the scallops, the pan's heat is essential. Even though Hell's Kitchen is serving leftovers for the summer, re-watching the previous seasons could inspire some home cooks. Additionally, don't keep playing with the fish, just let it cook. Once you master crispy skin, you will want to cook salmon for any vital dinner. After all, it is time to put down the bread pan and put something else in the oven. Number 7. Lamb Chops Another protein you shouldn't fear is lamb. While lamb chops might look simple, they are complicated. There are many cuts and many different ways to cook it, but cooking a rack of lamb, in our opinion, is the easiest. Lamb can overcook very quickly. You don't and shouldn't cook racks well done. So the trick with this is to pan sear the first rack to lock in those juices. Whether you enjoy a pistachio crust or the idea of eating food on a bone, lamb chops are always great. Still, a crusted lamb chop will make you wonder why you hadn't cooked them before, as this is always at the center of my holiday table because the flavor is unreal and it's a stunning dish. You can cook the lamb in a hot oven until about 80% complete, and before serving it, coat it with this delightful fresh herb mixture and cook to completion. Once you discover how to cook this dish well, you will impress any foodie. Your holidays will never be the same. Number 6. Grilled Baby Leeks Gordon Ramsay grills the leeks to cook the more rigid outside leaves and then poaches the leeks to cook the centers delicately. Later on, Chef Ramsay uses white miso, which is sweeter and more mellow than darker misos. The miso poaching broth then becomes the base for the rich and luscious vinaigrette, and it borders on the texture of a sauce. And finally, chives provide sharpness to play against the caviar, and the naturally sweet miso gives the vinaigrette a professional restaurant-level touch. Number 5. Pork Chops and Mash Pork is a blank canvas for whatever you introduce to it, and it's very friendly to new flavors, so don't be afraid to experiment a bit. So thanks to Chef Gordon Ramsay, this recipe pushes the boundaries and adds flavor to a slice of otherwise bland meat. So set your shake and bake aside for the night and challenge yourself to a new twist on classic pork chops. There's no law stating that you always need to use Yukon Gold potatoes for mash, just like there's no law against marinating your pork chops before cooking them. Also, it is okay to make sweet potatoes outside of Thanksgiving as well. Number 4. Steak Diane The closest thing you can compare Steak Diane to is a Chateau Briand. The famous Steak Diane needs a hearty steak to stand up to its flavors, so sirloin makes for a mean cut of choice to match the creaminess of this brandy-based sauce. Fresh herbs, heavy cream, Dijon and Worcestershire sauce add to the decadence of this hard-hitting menu item, and it should be on yours. And if you're looking to spice up date night, or incorporate steak into your winter menu when the grill has been covered and put away, well, then look no further. You have your perfect match. Number 3. Scallops A beautiful plate of scallops can make anyone drool over them. They are challenging to cook. But from the perfect sear to the perfect cooking, a scallop is a delicious dish. The only way the contestants on Hell's Kitchen want to serve them is with a char on both sides because it looks good and adds great taste. 
but scallops contain so much liquid that is released when heated that many times they wind up being poached rather than seared. The key to the perfect sear is the pan's temperature. Without that sear, a scallop is not as tasty. Many experienced cooks can turn out a pace of scallops if that is all they are cooking. You can start your mental clock, put all the scallops in the pan in order, and then begin turning and serving them. This can work very well if you have just one serving for something like a dinner party. And according to Gordon Ramsay, the leeks in his recipe are just as vital since they'll serve as a heavenly buttery base to those perfectly seared scallops. Another pro tip for all the chefs at home, make sure to dry your scallops entirely before adding the seasoning. Thorough drying will ensure a smooth, even caramelization throughout the cooking process. Number two, risotto. When the term risotto comes up in conversation, people usually cringe at the thought of making it themselves. The slowly cooked rice dish needs a lot of attention to detail. It's unclear why risotto has such a reputation for being challenging to make, but we can only presume it's due to the specific nature of its cooking process. In reality, there is no rushing a great risotto. The liquid and flavor slowly absorb into the arborio rice. While the risotto can be embellished with a variety of flavors, the proper cooking technique is imperative. Gordon Ramsay's wild mushroom risotto is the perfect dish to make on those cold, wintry nights. It'll warm you up from the inside out and make you feel as though all is right in the world, something we could all use a little of now and then. Number one, the infamous beef wellington. Gordon modernizes the classic beef wellington recipe with a cast iron skillet, giving the beef filet flavor, color, and depth. Who hasn't seen Chef Ramsay dispose of an improperly prepared beef wellington? The classic recipe has perfectly cooked beef tenderloin surrounded by delicate puff pastry. Layers of prosciutto, savory chive crepe, a mushroom mixture, and puff pastry seal the deal. From the rich pate to the medium rare beef, every part needs to be properly cooked. When prepared perfectly, one bite is instantly memorable. Well guys, that's all we have for you today. What are your thoughts on Gordon Ramsay's signature dishes? Which dish would you want to try? Let us know in the comments section down below what you think about today's video. If you liked this video and found it informative, then be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Also, if you don't want to miss out on any new future videos like these, then be sure to click on the subscribe button and turn on the notification under this video so that you're notified the next time we upload a new video. Thanks for watching guys, we hope you have a great day today and we'll see you in the next video.